This is sort of a follow-up to the recent video I did where I talk about someone who shall remain anonymous, at least that is the plan here. I've thought of some more things that this person does that irritate me and that I have tried talking to them about, but they continue and they refuse to accept my explanation for why it bothers me. I do want to clarify, this is a I realize that this person isn't doing it out of spite or to annoy me, but it continues nonetheless, and me trying to talk directly to him does not help, so this is catharsis, and this is in case anyone out there either has this problem with someone else or does this to someone else and doesn't realize that it bothers them or why it bothers them. When you are listening to someone, when you are talking with other people and you're listening to, for example, their problems, do not interrupt, do not offer all kinds of platitudes. If you think you have some suggestion that they haven't thought of, then by all means share that once it's evident that, you know, they are done for the time being with, you know, sharing their problems. But do not just say, oh, things will work out, or crap like that, because, speaking for myself, I have thought that myself, you know, any kind of platitude, any kind of trying to understand other people, I've already thought that. So, by telling me how the other person might be perceiving the situation, or telling me that things will work out, that doesn't do squat for me. That just irritates me, especially when it's the platitudes, because you have no idea. Things might work out, things might not. Things might go horribly, horribly wrong. And when I say something, again, just speaking for myself, when I say that I think something might go horribly, horribly wrong, it's not that I necessarily expect it to. It's just... I'm an anxious person, I need to express these kinds of fears, because otherwise they will drive me up the wall, and I mean that almost literally. And again, I can only speak for myself, but I could imagine that this is the case for many who have anxieties about various things. You just need to get them said out loud. When I express my anxiety, I'm not hoping that someone will respond with a platitude or explain the situation. I already understand the situation. If I didn't understand the situation, I would ask, what is going on here? I understand the situation perfectly fine, hence my anxiety. I realize what has led to it. I would say that you're more upset by a situation that you know perfectly well how it got to be like that, you just don't see how to get out of it. If you don't completely understand a situation, you're more bewildered than anxious, I would say. Again, I can only really speak for myself here. And the explanations of other people's actions... This is going to sound so selfish, but you know what? Sometimes we have to be. Sometimes you just got to look out for yourself. Because, bottom line, at the end of the day, and this is probably going to burst some bubbles, but them's the breaks. At the end of the day, you're the only one truly looking out for yourself. And that's just how it is. There might be other people who might value your opinion, who might try to help you and try to put you before them, but at the end of the day, you have to look out for yourself. That person might not always be there. And even when they are, they won't necessarily always be able to look out for you before even themselves. And maybe they shouldn't, because then who's looking out for them? Anyway, 
Yes. It's going to sound terribly selfish. Where was I? Right. When I'm expressing my anxiety or talking about my problems, that's the time where I need the sympathy for myself. Maybe I need to feel sympathy for myself, which, which many call quite egotistical. Or maybe I'm looking for someone else to sympathize for me. I'm not looking for an explanation much less an excuse of someone else's actions. I just want to be heard. I just want my voice to be heard by someone else. I don't want to know why I should feel bad for the other person. Unless I... unless this is a situation where I'm being totally unreasonable. In that case, it might be justifiable to explain the other but I try to not be unreasonable. I try to not ask for sympathy in situations where I'm not the one in the most pain. So anyway, listen, do not interrupt, do not offer platitudes. If you can think of alternatives, alternative courses of action that you think the other person hasn't thought of, and you're sure they're ready to hear them, then that. But other than that, I would say keeping quiet, as long as you are actually listening, is the better course of action, at least that's my experience.